Hi everybody, welcome to the training mode in the PlayStation 4. And what I want to talk about in this video are the best guns for beginners. What should you pick, be picking up to give yourself a fighting chance in your first few weeks, first few months of uh, PlayStation PUBG before you kind of get your own um, preferences about what you should do. What we're going to do, we're going to start off with uh, a submachine gun. Um, now, the submachine gun that I think you should start off with is the UMP-9. Where is it? Let's go and find it. Here she is. Now, there's the UMP-9. Now, the beauty with the UMP-9 is that it has... Is that an UMP-9? Yeah, an UMP. Um, is, as standard, it has a fair size magazine. And accuracy is incredibly difficult in PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds because uh, there's no aim assist. And the fact that you've got 30 bullets as standard helps an awful lot. And then what you want to put on the ump is some sort of... Um, let's go and put a grip. Now, any grip is better than nothing, all right? People tend to think that the lightweight grip is particularly effective on the ump, but the vertical or the half grip or the angle grip, you know, just get something on it. The thumb grip is really good for aiming down sight very, very quickly. Um, but the main thing is get a grip on there. Then you'll also want, if you can, find an extended magazine. Quick draw first. If you, you know, stick one of them on, then if you can find an extended, put an extended on. Obviously, the best thing is a quick draw extended mag. Um, where are they? Somewhere along here. Extended quick draw mag. There we go. So we put that on there. And then you'll want something on the muzzle as well. There's, there's definitely room for discussion here so the thing that controls recoil the most is a compensator all right so an smg compensator and then you will have the least recoil flash hider will hide the flash and will also recoil uh, control the recoil a bit and the suppressor will make your gun quieter but won't control the recoil as much as a flash hider or a compensator and there is the argument that um with a submachine gun, when you're going to be using it, you're probably going to be close enough where by whether a suppressor won't make any difference or not. However, one of the big advantage of ooh, if I get the correct suppressor rather than a big advantage of the suppressor is the fact that the other people who are nearby won't hear you. Now, as far as a sight preference, red dot or hollow. When I first started playing PUBG, I really I just, just used to use the oh let's change the water. I used to use the hollow all the time. Then over time, I've moved to the the red dot. But whichever you know, whichever you prefer, and that will give you a really good uh, general purpose submachine gun for close to medium range. You've got 40 rounds with that extended mag. Very effective tool. Now, let's talk about our more long distance weapons and an alternative to the ump as your close distance weapons. And I believe when you start off playing this game, cheers mate, you want to be concentrating on the 5.56 five, guns. Because although they might do less damage per shot, they're much easier to control. And on um, all of the maps, my first choice for a distance weapon, the most common one you'll come across, will be the M16. Now, the M16 is an assault rifle, uh, let's just reload it, and it has the ability to fly, far, fly <laughs> to fire in single or burst mode. Use it in single fire. Um, again, you'll want to find some sort of magazine for it if you can. Stick, obviously, extended quick draw is the best one. Uh, you'll want to put something on the muzzle. Now, if you can find a... Uh, uh, they're not very common, but if you can find a suppressor for an assault rifle, for your distant weapon, really good. And it'll either be an assault rifle one or a sniper rifle one if you pick up a sniper. Because you're going to be engaging people at distance with this gun. And the ability to be able to fire at them where they can't hear you, so they don't know where to hide, is invaluable. Now, as far as your scope goes... Um... If you only come across a two times, fit a two times. Uh, the three times is good, especially in places like Sandhock, where you've got limited lines of sight. The best general purpose scope, I think, is the four times, which I can't see here. Where is it? There's the four times. So this is this is a four times. And that's... Whoop, if I put it on the gun, it would help, wouldn't it? Right, there we go. 
so that's a four times on the M16. Um, that's the scope we had the most. However, um, the six times is also pretty common, and the beauty with the six times is that it's variable. So you can go backwards and forwards like that. Um, now you can't fit the eight times or the fifteen times on the M16. They don't let you put it on an AR. Um, so you could go with that that way. Let me put my four times back on like that. And the beauty with the M16 is that it's very uh, it's very forgiving. So you can you can fire away pretty quickly in single shot, and it doesn't bounce around that. much that much. I mean, if you put a compensator on it, you know, it, it's, it's deadly. Now, if I was running around with an M16, however, and as my distance weapon, and I came across a Mini-14, which is the 556 sniper. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. That's, a, right, that's the Mini-14 there. Let me uh, take the bits off my M16. There we go. So we've got the Mini-14 now. Let's put four times on the Mini-14. We can put the extended mag on it. It'll also take a sniper extended mag and just put the suppressor on it. The Mini-14 um, is slightly better than the M16 at, at range. There's not much in it. I don't like the sound of it as much, but it definitely has less kick. Uh, I think the bullet travels slightly faster as well, and so that's the one I would go to. Now, Let's go back to the idea of a close quarters 556 five, weapon. Now, if you're fighting on Erangel, that's the um, or the the, the, the I was going to say the, the first map we got. But if you're playing this a PUBG, you've had all three. Uh, it's the island map with the the, uh, the 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 island at the bottom, the Russian-looking one, or um, Miramar, which is the desert map. I would consider swapping out my uh, ump for an M416. Now, the, again, there's debate over this, and people will say, no, the M416 has had its day. But the M416, I believe, is very user-friendly. Um, let's just reload it, let's put some bits on it, let's put a grip on it, let's put a suppressor on it. Um, it's very easy to control, has very little recoil, even at full auto, um, which means that you tend to stay on target and hit your targets. It, it does have options for all of the uh, attachments as well. So what you want to put on it, you want to put something, I don't know, something like a vertical grip probably. As I said, we've got a suppressor on it, but a compensator if you really want to control that kick. Um, it takes the tactical stock. Um, uh, we haven't got mag, for, we got mag. Let's get mag for it. Where are the magazines? Here we go, let's put an extended mag on it. And then, as far as a sight, again, this is going to be my close range weapon. I again on the four and six. I prefer the red dot, but you might want to go with a hollow. Let's go to auto. Let's see where you can see it. There we go. I mean, that is pretty good to control. You know, that is pretty good. That's pretty good to control. And I find that with the M416, and you could say the SCAR as well, you have really good, uh, it's very good at engaging from short to medium range. You know, with this red dot on this, this gun, people who are quite far away, you can still engage them with your red dot at full auto, you know, just tap firing, kind of like that, rather than swapping out, swapping out to your to your sniper. Now, if, however, you are on... Um, the jungle map, Sanhok, you don't want, I mean, pick up a 416 to start off with, but the gun you want is the QBZ. Where is it? Now, the QBZ is a fantastic gun. Um, it has more power than the 416. It rips people apart, there is. Let's see if we've got enough time before this, uh, we run out of... Uh, let's take this stuff off. Um, I, th I like to think that the QBZ is, it's like the AK, um, what am I doing? Red dot sight, vertical foregrip, extended tank. Uh, it's, it's like an AK-47, so it has, has the power of that gun, but will rip into people while still being pretty controllable. Let's go to full auto. I mean that that's that's pretty good. That that is pretty good c control. Uh, 
and at full auto, even at quite long ranges, so for example here, you know, you could definitely use that as an alternative to getting your sniper rifle out at short to medium range. So there we go, just while the game comes to an end. That's kind of my conclusions about the big perfect weapons for beginners. For an SMG, go with the AMP9, um, but I would swap that out for an M416 as my close-up weapon, the 556 one. Uh, well, it does take 556 if I was playing on uh, Erangel or Miramar, but if I'm on Sanhok, I'll definitely see if I can find a QBZ because it is more powerful. And then for my long distance weapon, I use an M16 on single fire with a four times or a six times. But if I come across a mini 14, which is another 556 weapon, I will use one of those. Just to go over it again, we use the AMP because it uses nine mil, it's easier to control and you get a nice fair size magazine. And we use the 556 weapons because although they do less damage per shot, they're more easier to control. As you get more into the game, try out the other weapons. Sometimes you might have to because you can't pick anything else up. You know, try out the uh, the AKs, try out the the Vector SMGs, try out the shotguns, try out the SKSs. <laughs> you know, there, there's so many. Try out the DP12. That's a lot of fun. Try out those the, the other weapons. And remember, you can do all this in the training mode. Um, and, and you'll you'll come across the guns that suit your style. A lot of it depends on the engagements distances that you're you're running into people at. But I believe you can't go wrong with the UMP, the 416, the QBZ, the M16, and the Mini 14. Anyway, that's enough for me. If you've got any other questions, actually, there's one bonus. I'm going to give you a bonus bit at the end as well. I know this is about guns, throwables. This is my golden tip about throwables only pick up frag grenades and smoke grenades frag grenades obviously because you can throw them at people and throw them through windows to kill people smoke grenades are very good for creating instant cover so if you need to get out of a situation or you need to move across open land you can throw them smoke grenades and run through them or if you're playing in duos or if you're playing in um, uh, squads you can use them to, you throw them on a teammate to be revived you might say, well, why not, why not, why not pick up uh, Molotovs and why not pick up stun grenades? The problem, especially with stun grenades, is that it's very difficult to learn the difference between what a smoke grenade looks like and what a stun grenade looks like on your screen when you're selecting it. And especially in the heat of battle, you'll be, you'll mean to throw a stun to create a uh, smoke, sorry, to create some cover or to throw over a teammate. <laughs> you won't. You'll throw a stun grenade and probably flash yourself and everybody else around you. Or, and this has happened to me before with if you pick up Molotovs, instead of, you'll go to change your grenade, you'll pick a Molotov by mistake and God forbid you you, you, you throw that instead of a smoke onto a teammate who's down because you're going to kill him. <laughs> but Molotovs are really dangerous. It's very easy. They, they, they explode as soon as they hit anything. So if you throw it wrong and it hits something close to you, it'll burst into flames and set yourself on fire. So especially in the early stages of the you know, learning PUBG, just pick up frags and smokes because the shapes are very different. Frags look like little apples and smokes look like a big can of, you know, monster or, or coke. And so you'll always know you've got the right one. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> That's enough from me. And uh, yeah, any questions or comments, put them down below. Enjoy the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same for us, subscribe. Thank you very much. And I will see you again soon.